effects of this cold. Freezing temps could add up to big problems for your vehicle. The cold can have devastating effects on batteries. Yeah, in fact, some auto repair shops are already seeing an uptick in service. News 8's Amy Hudak joins us live from New Haven with more. Amy. We just heard from AAA in Hartford within the last 30 minutes, and they say they've received 100 calls an hour for things like dead batteries. And something to keep in mind, something you might not even think about, things that drain your battery that are often in your car, including your GPS that's plugged in and even your cell phone. Carl Maz's family-owned auto body shop is humming inside and out in the lot. In the past week alone, we've probably seen 20 with dead batteries. And with frigid temperatures forecasted all week? A lot more cars will be coming in. Maz says winter is when business booms, in part because of drained batteries. The engine is much harder to turn over because the oil is, is thicker. In the cold, a slower chemical reaction inside the battery. So here's the battery charger here. And there's two terminals that connect to the positive and the negative, and it sits on there and charges usually about an hour or so. Next door at AutoZone, there are empty spaces where batteries typically sit in stock. By noon, the manager said a half a dozen customers had already come in to buy new car batteries. AAA in Hartford reported some 1,250 calls for dead batteries Tuesday alone. Ma says there are some simple ways to check if it's time for a new one. Their headlights are dim. Uh, the car takes a lot longer to turn over to do any clicking noises before the car actually turns on. The best thing to do is get it checked out and tested about once a year and get it replaced if need be so you don't run any problems in the winter. As the mercury continues to drop, so does the pressure in your tires. So keep an eye on those readings. And don't forget before you head out to make sure you fill up the gas tank and check your washer fluid. Live in New Haven, Amy Huda, News 8.